Welcome back to Free Family Fun Day at the Manawa Museum of American Art. This month, we are making pinhole cameras inspired by the historic photographic processes used by Will Wilson, Edward Sheriff Curtis in our In Conversation Will Wilson exhibition. Edward Sheriff Curtis was taking photos over 100 years ago, but Will Wilson, a photographer still creating photographs today, uses a process that is even older than Curtis's. Both photographers use historic processes, creating images that are both beautiful and nostalgic. But there's an even older photographic process, which we will be doing today. The camera obscura was the first type of camera used for the first time in 400 BC. Throughout history, it has been used by astronomers, mathematicians, and even artists to project images. Leonardo da Vinci even wrote about using the camera obscura in the 15th century. Today, our pinhole cameras will allow us to have portable camera obscuras. Here's what you'll need. Black construction or cardstock paper, wax paper, aluminum foil, a cardboard tube, scissors, and tape. First, I cut my paper towel roll in half. You can do this project with any size tube, but a smaller tube will be easier to assemble for kids. Next, I cut my wax paper from the roll and then in half again. Then, I covered one end of the cardboard tube. You'll want to make sure that you don't wrinkle the wax paper that is covering the end of the tube too much, otherwise your camera's image will be blurry. Securely tape it down to your tube. Then, take your black paper and cut it to be the width of your tube and roll it completely around and tape it closed. Make sure that it is not too tight and that you can move your tube in and out of the paper sleeve. Now, you will cover the same end of your paper with aluminum foil. Just like the wax paper, try to avoid wrinkles and tape it down securely. Next, you will take a pen and poke a hole in the middle of your aluminum foil, but not the wax paper. This is what the light will filter through to create the camera obscura effect. Your image will be projected onto the wax paper. Now, go outside on a sunny day and look around. You can adjust the focus of your camera by moving the cardboard tube to just the right spot in the paper sleeve. The reason the image will appear upside down, just like it did in old cameras, is because the light is passing through such a small hole that it bends and inverts. Go explore and see how people hundreds of years ago viewed the world through their cameras. A great place to take your new camera would be our sculpture garden, located just outside of the museum. It is always open to the public and has plenty of sculptures that would look awesome through your camera. Thanks for joining. Share your creations with us using hashtag Manila Museum on social media. We hope to see you next month on March 12th for our next Free Family Fun Day.